So in this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate uh, a powerful yet hidden feature of the Moto Beta layout. So if I hold Alt and Spacebar, I get this Pi menu, which allows us to uh, toggle our right viewport, our left viewport, and our lower viewport. Uh, and I'm just going to focus on our right viewport, but everything that I show here is applicable to the lower and left viewports. So we have this bar across the top of the viewports here with these different buttons. And if I collapse this, uh, this is what you, you might see. So you might not see those buttons. Um, this thick black bar with the arrow here allows you to expand that. And these uh, buttons here on the right side um, allow you to switch uh, what viewport you're viewing in this right viewport. So at the moment I'm viewing the procedural stack. If I want to see the uh, properties, I can click this button. And if I want to see the preset browser, I can choose this button. Uh, we have uh, the images viewport, and then we have render passes here. Um, so we also have this plus symbol, and this is what's really powerful because this allows you to add custom uh, viewports. Uh, so if I click on the plus, we get this little palette here. Uh, with three custom buttons, and at the moment they're all hidden, but if I make them uh, expanded, uh, you don't have to expand all three, but I'm going to. Uh, we have these three empty buttons. So if I click the first, uh, you can see we have this empty viewport. And if I click on the top right arrow here, uh, and I come over to Application, uh, Form View, now if I right click where it says Form View, uh, I can actually left click on the exports section and we have all of these extra um, forms that I can fill with the uh, or I can use to populate this right viewport so there are some pretty interesting ones um, let's see we have uh, snaps and precisions or snaps and precision so uh, if you use this a lot you can uh, keep that right here uh, it's also available in the uh, create side tab here as a floating uh, menu, so maybe that's not the greatest example. So again, if I want to change that, I can just right click on form view and click on the exports uh, pull down. And let's see, there's uh, multi-res sculpting or multi-resolution is pretty good. If you do a lot of multi-res sculpting, you can just quickly um, increase or decrease your subdivision level. I'll right click on the form view and choose something else, maybe um, New Fusion, if you do a lot of uh, work with Mesh Fusion and you create uh, your uh, New Fusion items frequently, you can keep that here. Um, but two that I find interesting are uh, the B-Spline Edit uh, form and the FlexFuse form. So first, let's have a look at the uh, B-Spline Edit form. So I'll click on the Exports pull down, and I'll find uh, B spline. So here it is right here, B spline edit. And this actually gives us uh, these options which are really hard to find um, if you don't uh, go about it this way. Uh, these are also available if I press F6 to bring up the uh, preset browser um, in your template scenes. If you click on the B spline template scene, that's the only other way that I know of to get these uh, to get access to these buttons. So I think it's really useful to have this docked here. So the other one is the FlexFuse kit. So rather than overriding this uh, form, I'll just click on this other um, custom button. And if I right click on where it says none, uh, nothing will happen. And that's because I have to uh, do what we did previously, which is click on this little arrow and come over to application and choose form view and then right click on form view and click on the exports pull down. And now I'm just going to look for flex views. So now we're populating this uh, right viewport with the flex views options. So now we have this first custom button for the B-spline uh, tools, and then this second custom button for the flex views tools. Uh, now this is handy because if I come over to Mesh Fusion uh, on the side tab here, uh, we have the flex views popover. But this popover uh, has so many options that it becomes a little bit unwieldy. It takes up a lot of screen real estate, and you have to kind of collapse uh, things, which is not too big of a deal. Uh, but because this is a floating form, you don't get those double arrows, which you get in a, uh, in a docked um, form. So if I click on these little dashed arrows, we get extra options here. 
And if you're using flex views a lot, it's nice to have uh, this, uh, these options kind of uh, docked here in the right viewport. So if I hold Alt, spacebar, and choose right viewport, it goes away. Alt, spacebar, choose right viewport, it comes back. And then Alt, spacebar, bring up the lower viewport. And we can use these buttons down here to do the same thing. Uh, I can add custom uh, buttons for the bottom as well. Um, but here you can see I have my preset browser open pointing to my FlexFuse geometry, uh, which is nice because on the right side here I have my FlexFuse options.